how about we sit down, do my nighttime skincare, and go through my February TBR list. I know it's a little late, but I got House of Flame and Shadow in at the beginning of this month, so that is what I read. So we're going to go through what I'm going to read for the rest of the month. Um, I'm not going to show each individual product as I do it. I am just going to, I'll list it down in the description. Um, I'll tell you guys all the time, not much changes when I do my skincare, but just in case you want to know, um, I'll link the previous video where I show everything and then I will also put it down below. So yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get started. Also, this having a fun, ma'am, having a fun drink when you do your skincare makes it so much better. And if you've not tried these, it is just, I got it from Target. Just the pain drink in the bottle. Tastes just like it. Tastes just like if you went to the store and got it. It just doesn't have the strawberries in it. But you can buy bags of free dry strawberries. So like, you know. But anyways. Goodness. So, as of today. Today is the 9th. I finished House of Flame and Shadow. So, I probably will post a video about my review of that book or talk about it at some point in another one, but I really want to give people time to get it and read it because I want to go in depth about everything in it. Um, and I just, I don't want to spoil things for people. So, you know, also I have got a mammoth of a zit coming up on my temple. So that's fun. But yes, like I said, I got House of Flame and Shadow in at the beginning of this month. So as soon as I got it, that is what I started reading because I've been waiting. I pre-ordered it. So obviously that was going to be priority. Um, but for the rest of the books for this month, and I will also post either on either side um, pictures because uh, I'm obviously not going to hold my books right now because they're all physical um, at least right now anyways, I may add some later on. And when I do our February wrap up next month, I may go over it if they're on the Kindle. But I'll put pictures up here because I don't want to touch them because of skincare hands. But on to the list. So I haven't really made like an order of how I'm going to read them. I just have the books I want to read um, kind of picked out. But the first one I have that I want to read in the list is Wildfire by Hannah Grace. It is the second book in uh, after Icebreaker in that series. I'm not sure what, like if there's like an actual overall name for her series. If there is, I'll put it on the screen. But um, Icebreaker was first. I read that one last year, which I also, even though it's late, I need to get up a 2023 recap, but I just I just haven't. I just haven't dug all the books out. But I want to read the next one in the series, which is Wildfire. Um, which that one is about... Is it Roy that it is about? I forget. I think it is because in the next one, which is Daydream that's coming out, is about Henry. But I don't think there's a date for that yet. But super excited to read that one. Oh god, I just stabbed my eye. I'm not used to freaking doing eye stuff with my nails yet because I haven't had them in so long. It's annoying as hell. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the ones on the list. Next, I have got uh, Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Um, I know the second book in that series is set to come out. I think it's Swift and Saddled, but it's not released yet. So I definitely want to go ahead and get Done and Dusted read. Which I'm really excited because I just read my first cowboy romance, which again will go up in a January wrap up um, that I was an ARC reader for and I fucking loved it. It is called Holding the Reins. It's actually out today as of February 9th. You can get the paperback or you can also get it on Kindle Unlimited, which I love. We love a good Kindle Unlimited read where you can save you some money. So please go read that if you haven't. And I'll go more in depth with it. I'll probably film the video tomorrow to wrap up my January reads. And probably the 2023 reads. God, I have so much I need to film. I just haven't. But anyways, what was I even rambling about? Oh, yeah, that was my first cowboy romance. So I'm kind of excited. I'd already had um, Done and Dusted bought. It just took forever to get in. And then, all right, and then next on the list is 
In the Weeds by B.K. Borison. Um, that is another one that I'm super excited to read. I read um, Love Light Farms in January, which I said was my, I told you guys, was my very last read of the 2023 year. I started out with the physical, but also re read it with the audiobook. That way I could make sure I got it in before the end of the year. And I absolutely fell in love with those characters. Um, they all, it's like an interconnected story like series so you could technically read each book on their own but it is going to spoil other characters and like their backstories from my understanding but I kind of like that um I feel like it's different so you meet these characters and fall in love with them but you end up getting their stories later on which is super super awesome next one that I want to read is going to be The Dare by Harley LaRue LaRue I'm not sure how you say her last name so if I'm going to start out saying I apologize. So I'm super excited about that one. The book is literally only like this thick. It is super thin. It is a super quick read. Um, very dirty. <laughs> but it is a prequel to the Losers Duet. Which is one that I also want to read from her. Um, so I just finally got my hands on it because you couldn't get it on Amazon for the longest time. They like took it down. And then she also recently did a cover change. So I'm excited to read that one. Uh, a friend of mine has been wanting me to read it for a while now and I just got my hands on it. So that'll probably be the first one I do just because it is such, that'll probably be the first one that I read because it's such a quick read. Um, so I'll go ahead, like after reading you know, House of Flame and Shadow, it'll be nice to have something small like that to read. Um, the next one that I've got on my list is, oh God, what was the next? Center by C Sierra Simone, I think it's, I think her first name Sierra. Um, I've already read The Priest. That was one I read last year too. Loved it. Um, also, if you have a Spotify premium membership, you can listen to the audiobook on there if you don't have the physical book. And I think it's available on KU, but I'm not sure. But I have all of the books in the physical copy. So that is also one that I have on my list to read. I wanted to get a mix of like happy-go-lucky romance ones and then like pure smut. So... And then I'll let me think of what else. Because I know right now it's like almost mid-month. So I didn't want to like pick too many and then not read them. Which I can always put them on marches. But I hate doing that. So as of right now. Oh no. I do know one on Kindle that I want to read. It's Skin of a Sinner by Ivana St. Graves. I think I mentioned this before where I read Death's Obsession by her. And this is another book that she wrote. So I do want to read that one on there. Um... And then another one on there that I want to read is, oh God, what is the name? I cannot think of the name of it. I'll have to put the image up here. I know what's the next book um, by Harley LaRue, I believe as well, uh, from the Her Soul to Take series. I just, I cannot remember the fucking name of it. Oh my God. Well, I have it downloaded and that's one that I want to read. So... I'll put it up here. So I'm super excited for all of these because these are ones that I've had on my shelf for a while now. Um, so I'm excited. I think I haven't really picked an order, but I do think I'm going to read The Dare first. And then I think I'm going to read Wildfire next because I have been waiting to read that one for a while now. But because there was like certain ones, like holiday ones I wanted to read in December. And then I reread Akatar in January. Um, and then like getting Crescent City, I just, I hadn't read it yet. So now that those behemoths are done, I want a little bit of a break from fantasy. And I think I'm going to read these. Because I do have some other fantasy ones that I want to read, but I think I'm going to wait. Mm. Also, this lip mask by Elf. Top tier, baby. Top tier. But yes, it's not very many books for February. Like I said, just because I read such a big behemoth of a book at the beginning of the month that I didn't want to have too many to read because I knew I was going to hit a little bit of a slump after I finished that, which I definitely have. Um, that book blew my freaking mind. I cannot wait to sit down and talk to you guys about it. I'm super, super excited. I think what I'll do is to give people time to read it and like not ruin anything. Um, 
when I make my February wrap up, I think is that's when I'll talk about it and just kind of really go through it because that gives people enough time, I feel like, to read because I don't want to spoil anything, but I will label the video like there's going to be spoilers in here. So, you know, do what you can. But yeah, I think so far that's it. Um, of course, if anything changes next month, I'll like put it in the video or whatever. But yeah, I, I will list all the names of the books and their authors down below. And then I will also list every skincare item that I used as of well for you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure I've linked them on my Amazon storefront too, if you ever just wanted to check them out. But you can also always get them at like Target, Ulta, Walmart, um, anywhere like that, that you can get skincare stuff. So yeah, but I think that's it. Can't think of anything else to add or say. I wanted to just do a quick little skincare video and go through that February TBR list with you guys. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye. Missing someone. Missing someone.